No preserve root. Huh. That actually worked. Oops. Hey, what's up guys? Izu here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five things you should do after installing Kali. Now, the first and most important thing, in my opinion, is to make sure... Uh, if you haven't already, to go edit your sources.list file, because there's a big bug with Kali 2 right now where the sources list file will not have the correct repositories, which basically means you can't install anything uh, at all in Kali until you fix this issue. You can't update it, you can't, uh, you're extremely limited in uh, what you can download and all this. So you want to go ahead and navigate to etc, apt, and then sources.list, and you want to copy the sources.list text and paste it into uh, it'll be in the description and just paste it into your file so once you've done that uh, it should you want to save it and then you should be good and after that you want to run these commands apt get update and apt get dist upgrade now apt get update updates your software and dist upgrade updates all of the programs and distributions that you have on Kali. So make sure you fix the source file and then you go ahead and run those two commands and now you should be good for doing the rest of the video which you would not be able to do without doing that. Now this is basically adding a user and basically the reason you don't want to run always as root or admin on a Linux based operating system is because you can seriously mess up your system by doing this. So you want to always make sure that you set up a secondary user that you can use uh, when because you don't want to always run root because you can accidentally seriously mess up your system but you do want to give the user you're going to be using root privileges which means basically whenever you're about to perform an action that could possibly damage your computer it'll give you a warning it'll say you need to enter your password or something that way you can still access it if you need to you'll still be able to use root commands basically what that command does chsh dash esh and then um, bin bash and your username basically sets up where your user file is going to be so you can access the files later from a different user if you need to that just basically makes sure everything's organized and set up properly so now that you have added your user the next thing that you're gonna want to do is to go ahead and I'm just waiting for me to finish up doing this just go ahead and edit your power settings because when Kali first gets installed power settings in my opinion are kind of ridiculous it goes to sleep after like five minutes which is just awful because uh, you leave your computer for like five minutes and Kali a lot of times will be updating like when you run apt get update it might run for a couple hours for me at least it ran for two or three hours so you want to make sure that your power settings are not s set to auto sleep after five minutes because that's just bad so go ahead and go to power in settings and blank screen I turned it to never but you can turn it to whatever you want and make sure automatic suspend is off so I believe originally that it is set to uh, five minutes you want to make sure you set everything off make sure that's off and that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys next time